Last year, this man was shot twice during a carjacking and a teenager was arrested. The district attorney promised to try him as an adult. And now it looks like that might not happen. And DA Jason Williams is explaining why. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. And I'm Cherie Gibson. Williams' office failed to meet the deadline to file charges in adult court. He's saying his team was just trying to be careful. But the victim has questions. Eleanor Tabone has tonight's top story. They kept telling me, they said, you're a lucky man, you're a lucky man. Scott Tube says he's lucky to be alive after surviving being shot twice last July. The 59-year-old was donating Mardi Gras beads when 17-year-old Kendall Miles allegedly shot and carjacked him uptown after escaping the Bridge City Youth Centre. I'm mad. <laughs> I'm very mad. I mean, this kid was close enough to 18 years old. You know, he needs to be, if he, if he can shoot somebody, then he needs to go, he needs to be trialed as an adult. At the time, District Attorney Jason Williams said he'd try Miles and 15-year-old Kayla Smith, another suspect in the crime as adults. Miles was already serving a juvenile life sentence. In a statement, the DA said, this is a case of being careful rather than careless. We worked systematically to build cases that we could win at trial, which included visiting the victim's bedside. It just really makes me really mad that that this kid can get up, he can get back out again. These are 30 day deadline that the Louisiana Children's Code mandates. While the DA's office filed charges 57 days after the arrest, meaning they missed the deadline. As a result, a judge granted the defence's motion to throw out the case. The DA arguing the law is clear that even if the state doesn't meet this time limit, dismissal of the prosecution is not an appropriate remedy. He says he's going to appeal the judge's decision. When the DA is getting paid by the state to do his job and he's not doing his job properly, then he needs to quit. You know, he, need, he needs to just get out of the chair. After being shot and then spending weeks fighting for his life in the hospital, Scott lost his wife, Stacy. She fought for me a lot. It's really uh, very emotional. Even though she's been gone for almost three months now. A father and a recent widower is now fighting the justice. He should be in Angola right now for, for sh uh, shooting me twice. The DA's office says the defendants are still in custody. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. The appeal will be discussed at a status hearing that is scheduled for April 3rd. Well, we've learned more 